Yeah, so there, the landscape of, of treatment, systemic treatment for advanced HEC has changed dramatically over the last years. We have seen there the introduction of the immunotherapy, more specifically the immunotherapy combinations, either with a inhibitor of the VGF or with um, a combination pdl one ctla 4 inhibition. And for us as, as, as oncologists treating patients with, with uh, HEC, the question is which option to choose in, in, in which patient. And this is really a difficult question because we do not have biomarkers that could guide us to choose for one treatment uh, or another. So what we do in that review is we go over the patient characteristics, the tumor characteristics, um, and also the liver characteristics, that last one specifically for HEC that emerges often in a context of chronic liver disease, liver cirrhosis, is very important. And if you take those three factors into account, we made an algorithm in that publication uh, guiding clinicians a little bit, not that it is black or white or that uh, options uh, are sometimes different options are possible, but just to, to, to show the arguments that one might use uh, to choose for one option over another.